Yesterday I customized my Etcher sketchbook cover and today I'm going to show you how I did it. So I used Dr. PH Martin's Spectrolite Liquid Acrylic, which is just your standard acrylic ink. You could use um, Roar and Cleaner Drawing Ink, you could use Winter and Newton Drawing Ink, you can basically use any sort of permanent ink, preferably acrylic based, that flows in water. So I used the colors uh, Spectrum Yellow, Orange, Magenta, violet, nautical blue, and emerald green. Nope, true blue and emerald green. So the packaging says that Spectralite is light fast and waterproof. I'm not sure about the light fast part, I think it varies, but um, I do. they are definitely waterproof and I think they'll be great for this project. You will also need a pipette or some way to get extra water into your mixing wells. So the first thing you're going to do is just water down the colors that you've chosen. Um, I did roughly half water half paint for this project um, work to your taste but I find that given the canvas material of the cover um, the paints flowed better when they were watered down a bit and they looked better they looked less dark there is a point at which they become too dark they're not showing their true color um, they're showing their sort of mass tone concentrated color and adding the water helps tone that down a bit Throughout this process, you're going to want to use a spray bottle. You'll start by spraying down the entire cover with a light dusting of water. And as you work, add water anytime you feel like the paint isn't moving as you want it to move. You should be pretty free with the use of your spray bottle for the entire duration of this project. You can see me just checking there to make sure that it's totally saturated. I'm using a Nick Pro round size eight. This is just an inexpensive brush I got off of Amazon. And uh, this first bit will be off camera just a bit, but basically I'm just um, putting the paint on the canvas and letting it spread as it wants. Uh, as I get further into the project, I started playing around a bit with how far it spreads. Um, you'll get a feel pretty quickly for how this works. Just uh, keep applying the paint to the um, to the color that you want it to be and uh, have fun with the project. I tried to make sure that the little llama icon was orange since that's Etcher's uh, brand color and I thought it would look cute and I think it turned out okay but it's not um, in your face that the llama is specifically orange so that's cool. And as I mentioned, you can hear me liberally applying the spray bottle throughout the process so you can get a feel for just how much I used uh, additional sprayed water. process when I was applying the pink ink I started playing around a little bit with um, a more tie-dye look so you know sometimes with tie-dye you can see bits of white from the t-shirt and the colors blend into each other and that sort of thing and I um, wanted to try to make it look a little bit more like a tie-dyed shirt so I started sort of extending the strokes outside of the main band of color and just really playing around and having fun
after I finished painting, I let my sketchbook sit for about an hour just to get the majority of the moisture um, off of the sketchbook, but it was um, still really damp to the touch and it was warping just a bit as I expected it would. So I ended up laying it flat on a waterproof surface and then I put some parchment paper on top of the sketchbook and then I put a few heavy books on top of that and let it dry overnight in a very dry environment. So I had a heater running basically. And here's the finished result. Um, I can see a few little spots. I'm not sure where those came from. They did appear before I um, put the parchment paper on. I think it might just be from fingerprints or something like that. Um, and you can see I just kept the paint on top of the sketchbook. It didn't drip over or anything. It was actually really easy to control. And I thought I would just give you a little sketchbook tour. This book is not finished by any stretch, so I'm just going to give you a super quick flip through. And anything I'm not showing on the camera is just, I felt wasn't contributing anything. So that's it. I hope this helps you customize your own etcher sketchbook. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you uh, like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. It really helps uh, with the YouTube algorithm and thanks for watching.